Okay, up a little bit for, more and a little bit more the towards the satellite. EVA is yeah, working around very well. They've pulled out the old ACS module, endeavoring to detect the new one and place it in the solar max. We're about an hour and nine minutes into the extra vehicle activity. Don't drop anything, us guys. Okay. Hey, Jerry, the hinge in that. Roger, it's all downhill from here. Yeah, right. <laughs> Everything's on. I double-checked all the little uh, clips are over the connectors, and so I'm going to get ready and button it up. Uh, Houston Challenger, this has got to go. Because Ox finishes the repair faster than anyone expected, he has time to take the man maneuvering unit for a test flight. Now Solar Max's circuits are checked out and the Goddard engineers make certain that it works perfectly. TJ holds it facing the sun until its batteries are recharged and then gently he returns it to orbit. As Challenger and her crew pull away, they leave behind vivid proof that we can work in space. Like Columbus, we dream of distant shores we've not yet seen. Now that we know how to live and work in space, we stand at the threshold of a new age of discovery.